from a broader macroeconomic perspective, absolutely, yes. I mean, the three top challenges uh, which are coming up these days with business leaders, it's rising inflation, rising pressure on, on margins and cash flow, supply chains, and of course here in Europe especially, the massive move now to renewable energy. Yeah, the dependency on, on Russian oil and gas really will now drive even further the transformation to renewable energy. Yeah, look, there's already a trend, and we've only interviewed, you're our third guest of the day, but there's already a trend going that, look, people want to still talk about sustainability, they still want to talk about climate, but the clear and present dangers presented not only by the war in Ukraine, uh, by our COVID experience, but also the economic turnaround, that is meaning that sustainability is potentially taking a, a slight more of a back seat, a back step. Is, is that the case or not? say so you have to do both uh, because also consumers, investors, employees, they are not forgiving on sustainability. But of course, short term, you are facing, you know, margin pressures. And this is why also with our technology, we want to manage this trade off, managing profitability, but also managing the move to sustainability. In my eyes, you have to do both. So just on that, yeah. people running businesses, yeah. people looking to keep people employed. Yes. Sustainability isn't just a nice to have. It but it's absolutely still front and center Consumers make their buying decisions based on sustainability employees they want to know for what company do i work for are we are running in a more sustainable way and investors they are asking as many questions about esgs as around your top and bottom line so it's key for every business leader can i ask you about um, the client behavior at the moment because what what we've noticed i think is that the speed of change in the global economy yes. is happening the shift from um, a strong consumer sentiment, strong business sentiment, it's weakening very quickly yeah, at the right. moment as some of the economic data is starting to signal recessionary risks. Speed of change was an excuse for many companies mm -hmm. to put off digitization decisions yeah. because they couldn't be sure they were keeping up with technology. Now I wonder if it's not speed of change, it's the fact that they're now worried about recessionary conditions yeah. that is putting them off from making those digitization spending decisions. Yeah, I mean, when I'm looking at companies these days, those ones who are falling behind on digitization, they are now suffering. You need digital technologies. You need, you know, for example, our business network to offset pressure on cash flow where we are financing transactions real time with many banks around the world or we are using artificial intelligence on RPA to automate and drive productivity. And those companies who are not doing that, they are facing higher pressure these days. And the same is on, on, uh, on sustainability. If you don't have the transparency, if you don't have your data together, how can you take action? How can you make focused efforts? And this is why digital transformation is now more important than ever. Uh, um